Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH and I am back for what hopefully will be a very cool uh, video. Recently, uh, <clears throat> I'm recording this on uh, Sunday the... What is today? I can't even remember. Uh, anyway, I'm recording this on a Sunday. And this past week, I want to say Wednesday or Thursday, Microsoft released a new updated dashboard for the Microsoft uh, Xbox One console. And on this uh, update, you know, they re totally redid the interface. If you remember uh, back when I showed on the Perfect Dark video the initial kind of Windows 8-esque setup that they had going on, eh, it was okay. Didn't super care for it, actually had trouble finding a few different things here and there. Um, they totally redone, they've redone the interface, which is, okay, which is good, and I've played with it a tiny little bit here. Uh, I had access to the preview program shortly before the official release uh, got updated. However, the cool part, and the part that I think a lot of websites and videos and other gaming coverage is going to omit or not really mention or demonstrate is that in this uh, recent dashboard Microsoft has actually added accessibility features to the dashboard um, they have some stuff for remapping the uh, button layouts so for physically impaired gamers you can remap the buttons um, system wide so like if you let's say you have trouble hitting the triggers or the shoulder buttons you can remap that to a face button or vice versa whatever um, there's a high contrast mode for low vision there is a magnification mode and there is narrator and it is all under the new ease of access center under, I was going to say Windows 10, under the Xbox One. However, they do have some shortcuts here. If I hold down the home button, or the Xbox button, starting narrator, boom, and then I hit the Window. essentially what the start button is, uh, the, to the right of uh, the right button. I always call it the start button. I think it's called the guide button or something like that. Um, I call it the start button. I'm, I'm old school, so it's like start and select. You know, that's sort of start on the right, select on the left. That's just kind of how I think of things. Um, so now, presumably, if I use my D-pad... Halo 5, Guardians, recently played section button. Now, I notice that the pitch is a bit higher than the Windows narrator on PC, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It just sounds a little weird to me. My games and apps button. I kind of wish that I could change that a little bit because I do think it sounds a little bit weird. Um, but so, this is our, our huge panel here um, that's really on this screen that's highlighting our main focus, and it's a large part of the screen. Get Fallout 4 today. Primary featured section, one of three. Okay, so one of non -selected, three. Non-selected, one of three. Primary featured section, two of three. Non-selected, mm. two of three. Fantastic deals, and more. Primary featured section. So didn't three really say three. what the second one was. Non primary featured section. Oh, two of primary three. featured. Okay, I, I non-selected. Gotcha. Two of three. So what we're gonna do is we are going to explore the interface. I, I don't really know my full way around the new dashboard, but what I wanted to show you this video is not necessarily going to cover any game specifically, um, but it's going to show you the new Xbox One dashboard. And it is going to show it to you through Narrator. What we want to find out, <clears throat> because I don't know either, uh, in the final release, I want to see just how integrated Narrator is, what it speaks, what it doesn't speak. Let's find out. So that's what we're doing here. Let's head back My over games to the and left. Apps button. Now what happens if I, let's say I go to the right again. Get Fallout 4 today. Primary featured I section. I've been playing one on of the three. PC, guys. Sorry. Non-selected. One of three. Share something to Xbox Live button. Okay, so now we've actually switched screens. So maybe there could be like a little sound effect to say like, oh, hey, you've, you're have you not on the same screen anymore. Now you've actually moved across the tabs across the top. Let me go up. Selected, 
Community section, 2 of 7. Selected, home section, 1 of 7. Right. So one of seven. you kind of have to, it's going to take, even with narrator, I think it's going to take a blind user a little bit of um, arrowing around just to figure out how the interface is arranged because the thing that makes it tricky, especially if you are blind or low vision, is that just like, you know, Windows 8, um, they don't have uniform size tiles. Like you've got this giant one on, in the middle there, you've got the three on the right there, and then you've got, if I scroll down, there's a little bit more. Um, and then on the left-hand side, you have some other tabs over there. Let's see what our other tabs are across the top first. Selected, community section, community. two of seven. Non selected, one guide section, three of seven. Okay. Three of seven, selected. Games section, 4 of 7. Right. 4 of 7. Selected. Apps section, 5 right, of 7. Here's where I have, if I were to go five down into this, this is where I have my Hulu, Netflix, Twitch, uh, a few different things here. I think I have a Plex app here as well. Selected. Movies and now, TV section, 6 of 7. we will probably pop into... Mm, I don't know seven. if I have Netflix configured. I don't know if I have the account set up. Um... I'm curious. I'm guessing third-party apps probably aren't going to speak as well as the Microsoft stuff. Selected. Music section. Seven so this of is seven. all Microsoft's music stuff. Seven I forget seven. what they call it. Isn't it Groove now or something like that? All right. So we are going to... Let's see. Selected. Movies and TV let's section. Let's go all the way over Sixth to the left again. Section, to home. Games section. Four of... Communities. Ah. No. What are you doing? Uh, okay, now I have sound effects, um, but we lost speech, so we're getting sound. I did not turn narrator off, it just got really mad about something. What did you get mad about? Um, that's not what I wanted. Um... Okay, let us hold down the start or the guide button. Uh, are you going to give me narrator? Oh, that's a real, real bummer, you guys. Let's try it one more time. Maybe I turned it off now. Window. Starting right, here narrator. We go. So apparently, narrator must have crashed. So. That's definitely something um, when I, like I said, I only got this build of the dashboard on my preview program. I couldn't say anything about it, you know, just for NDA reasons. But um, I had a crash under, with Narrator under the preview, and it seems like some of that still hasn't been fully resolved. So, you know, it just try holding down the Xbox button and then hitting your start button again. Uh, maybe to turn it off and then do it one more time to turn it back on if you do lose speech. That didn't work early on when I had that problem, but maybe in the full build, maybe it'll at least kind of reset itself and I, you can have speech. So that's potentially a problem that they're going to have to fix because if you do rely on Narrator to get around the Xbox One interface, that's something that you're going to want to consistently have access to and not just lose speech for no reason. So I think maybe the thing is, is you don't want to go through the interface really fast because narrator team maybe tends to crap itself when that happens. I don't know. So let's uh, let's go down this home screen here. Halo 5, Guardians, recently played section button. Okay. Xbox preview dashboard, recently played. Tony Hawk's registered trademark uh, pro skater trademark 5, recently played section That's going to make my game of the year section under biggest disappointments of, under, of, the, of the year. Ugh. God, I wanted that game to be good so bad. Rare Replay, Recently Played Section Button. Still a lot I haven't even looked at in there. My Games and Apps, My Stuff Section Button. Okay, so basically the, the section that I had that I was arrowing down through before was just a list of recently played, so I can easily access that. Um, now we're, see now, again, if I arrow down... Achievements, My Stuff yeah. Section Button. My Games and Apps, the My Stuff part. Section Button. And I'm not sure how to recommend a fix for this, necessarily. 
Um, I, I mean, like, for someone who is low vision, it's not as bad, like myself. Um, when I arrow up... Rare replay. Recently played section button. I can button. see visually that this is only... It's one long item. It's like a... Like, the, the recent section is like a long list. And if I arrow down... My games and apps. My stuff section button. My stuff section... Um, there's nothing telling the blind user, if you are totally blind, that we're back to a grid again. So I could keep arrowing down, which I can Achievements, do. Achievements, my stuff section button. But if I go back button. up to my games. My games and apps, my stuff section button. Threes, my stuff section button. TV, my stuff sec. Movies and TV, my stuff section so button. So maybe if Narrator were able TV, to in threes, the future. My games and apps, my stuff section button. Maybe if um, they would say, give you a little bit of a hint, like a two by seven grid or something. So, you know, I mean, it's a little bit verbose, but, you know, like I said, otherwise it's going to be hard for a totally blind user. You're going to have to get, you're going to have to practice the interface a little bit as a blind user just to kind of get around and things change a little bit. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not super complaining because what this is actually huge. Sony started it earlier this year, and I almost wanted to buy a PlayStation 4 just to play with that accessibility feature. But I'm glad it did not take Microsoft long to catch up. Uh, and from uh, some tweets that I've been seeing, it sounds like Microsoft has actually done an even a little bit more thorough job than Sony uh, on integrating some accessibility into their systems. Let's keep going my down. My stuff section button. Okay, so we're all the way down at the bottom of the home tab. Let's go all the way up. My games and apps. Now if I hit my stuff the section left and right button. trigger. My games and apps button. My games and apps. My stuff section it's button. It's kind of a way to jump between sections or pages. Um, so let's go my games all the way back up to the button. top. Now we're back at the top of the home thing. Um, before I go into like the community and everything, I want to go a little bit under settings. And actually, before I even do that, let's. Uh, I'm going to hold down the Xbox button. Window. If I hit select, check that out. I am zoomed in. I can pan it around. And let's see, how do I zoom in again? Okay, here we go. I use my left and right trigger to zoom in and out. Little choppy, like I can only you, you kind of do it in little chunks. Like I'm just gonna hit tap tap because if I hold the analog, the left analog stick, it works, but it's a little choppy. I mean, you're not gonna want to read long things with this, but if you do want to zoom into like a product description, a price, or something like that, or even let's say a button mapping within a game to read like uh, the button layout for uh, let's say if you're you know in Halo, you can choose a whole bunch of different uh button schemes uh, for playing the game. This would be a great way to do it. So now I can't... My D-pad and my left analog stick are all going to move around the screen. So I technically cannot move around the interface while zoomed in. Um, basically, it's just a zoom in for what is actually on... What is, whatever is on your screen is going to get magnified. You hit B to back out to normal view and now Halo I can in, uh, Gar now I can games interact and apps with the interface again so if I go down here again Halo 5 Guardians recently played um, section button and I, I guess in a game I totally get why it would work this way but maybe Window. while you're on the dashboard maybe you could have it so that zoom stays in you could navigate the interface maybe the d-pad could move you around the interface and the analog stick could move the zoom so or, or you could use one analog stick for um moving around the interface and the other analog stick to pan around the screen um but in in a an actual game i totally get why you would only have it like what is on the screen because otherwise that would interfere with actual game control so not bad i mean like i said oh, it's, it's a huge thing to have there i mean you said I, i'm not complaining i'm just actually trying to think of uh, ways to further improve um, the baseline that Microsoft has done. And so far, My games and apps I'm button. liking this a lot. So now, what they've actually done, 
on the new dashboard. On, on your home tab on the left hand side, if I uh, arrow over to the left. Guide window. This is sort of like your guide. Um, you have, it kind of pops out like a overlay and I can up and down between categories. Selected, party tab, three of seven. So there's my party if I want to party up seven. with other people. Selected, friends tab, two of seven. Friends, what's one of seven? Two of selected, sign in tab, one of okay, seven. Okay, sign in while selected, I already am, or friends I should tab, be already. Two of seven. But... Selected, party tab, three. Selected, messages tab, six Any unread messages. messages. Oh, geez, four I of seven. a lot of unread messages. Four of seven. Six unread messages. I should probably check into that one of these days, huh? Selected, notification tab, five of seven. Okay, notifications. Five of selected, settings tab, six of seven. Settings, and uh, I believe six of seven. here is where you're going to find your accessibility, which I will go to very shortly. Selected, snap and app tab, seven of seven. Snap and app, that's seven of seven. where, I even in the old interface, I don't really like snapping apps. Like, you can have a game up or a, a movie or something, you can have Netflix, and then like some games or some apps also support snapping. So like I could watch Netflix and play a game of threes on the side, which is kind of cool actually, but eh, you know what, that's what my phone is for, or my iPad. So uh, I'm not really going to go into that. Selected. Let's settings go into tab. Six settings. Of seven. And Six of seven. Now, you actually have to head left, because uh, like I said, this is like the right... It's going to be hard, to, like I said, you're, if you're just using Narrator exclusively and you don't have any vision, this is going to be, definitely take some practice getting around. Um, and I'm trying to do an okay job at describing it. But basically, you have this pop-out thing um, and these up and down sections that Selected. I'm arrowing through are on the right-hand side. Settings tab. On the left-hand si uh, on the left -hand side, Six when I up seven. and down arrow through these, so now I'm on settings, if I arrow left... All settings button. There we go. Now we're actually in the subsection, so it's kind of like a side panel. Almost like the Windows 8 charms, maybe, if you want to think of it like that. Turn off console button. Restart console button. Okay. Turn off console button. There we go. Let's, uh... All settings all button. All settings. This is pretty cool so settings far. Settings window. All right, so... Selected. Personalization. Selected. Account one. Now of I'm not going to go into every single setting because we are, um, you know, I don't want to have the super long video, but at least I want to show you potentially that this is usable. Um, Selected personalization. So now we're actually in the settings 11. app. We're no longer in that pop out. We're never. We're not in that charms esque area. We are in basically a menu on the left and then a grid on the right. So selected account account one of 11. and if i were to arrow over one to the right i have a grid of two four six seven items a two by uh four grid two down four across selected personalization two personalization. of eleven two of selected network, network three of eleven selected system four of eleven selected preferences five of eleven selected connect and devices i don't have a connect. selected Display and sound. S selected. Power and startup. 8 of Selected. Disc and Blu-ray. 9 of 11. Selected. TV and one guide. 10. Selected. Ease of access. And here we of go. 11. Ease of 11 access. Of 11. Let's head over to the right. Button mapping 5 of 5 button. So here is our button mapping. Now, it because I was lower on the list, it actually, when I hit right, it brought me to the bottom uh, row of the grid. We have, again, a 4 by one Four across and one down. Uh, we are on the one on the bottom because we are low. If I arrow narrator up, one of five button. There's narrator. Magnifier two of five button. Magnifier. Closed captioning three of Definitely five button. Definitely some closed captioning. So if you are uh, hard of hearing, you can adjust some settings system wide there, which is very awesome. High contrast four of five. High button. contrast. I haven't actually gone into here. Let's see what this looks like. High contrast off combo box selected on two of. High contrast on combo bo high contrast four of five button. Okay, whoa, that that's uh, you know I think I like the blue better. Closed captioning um, three of five button. Uh, 
I that that kind of I don't even know what you would call that color, but that's really kind of like a neon. That's kind of harsh, actually. Uh, let me back out of the settings. I just want to see. Home window, Halo Five Guardians eh. recently I mean, played section button okay. Xbox Preview Dash Tony Hawk's Rare Replay My Games and Apps yeah. My Stuff section button. I actually think I prefer Rare Replay Tony. I F think Halo I prefer the selected. regular Home section. One of settings button. Into settings. Settings window. Selected. Closed captioning ah, crap, off. No, I don't want Closed close captioning. captioning. I high contrast for high contrast. Uh, select off. off. One of two. There we go. High Boom. contrast. Yeah, off. to me that's Combo much more box. pleasant. It's it's still got Collapsed. good contrast, but I like that blue. And I think that largely depends. That could be under my personal personalization. When you choose in Windows 10 or when you choose on the Xbox, you can kind of choose a Sort of background four color five theme. Button. So when you're doing that, you know, keep that in mind as far as like if you're going to be seeing a lot of white text, it may be a good idea as a low vision user uh, if you're looking Closed at that. Captioning three of just five to set button. your system white color to your background color to something that will work well with white. Okay. Magnifier so two. That's narrator cool. one of five button. And if I go into, let's say, narrator, some of them gives narrator, you some more information. On. I have Combo it box. on. Collapsed. Controller shortcut. To start narrator, hold the Xbox button and then press the menu button. Press them again to stop. Yes. Or so you can start narrator with your voice using Kinect by saying Xbox, turn on narrator. One of three. Now here's a nitpick. Non-selected. Here's a nitpick thing that I really wish Microsoft would have changed. I get that they want to sell the Kinect. I get that. But what I really wish they would do, especially with this new interface, is, you know, the people are backing away from Connect a little bit more, okay, quite a bit more. I wish that the voice stuff, when they get Cortana in eventually, when they do the voice commands, if I have a headset hooked into my controller, for the love of God, just let me use the head, let me use the mic in the headset. Um, it could help for accessibility, it could help for convenience, um, and it's just, it's a way to use the interface that you, I mean, there's no logical reason that it shouldn't work other than the fact that Microsoft wants to sell you their Connect, which, of course, that's why they're doing it. But it's just, yeah, I, I just wish that they would change that because Connect is no longer the, the huge thing, I think, that they were hoping it was going to be. So if I arrow to the right again. Selected keyboard shortcut to turn on narrator. Press the Windows logo key plus enter. Press them again to stop. Caps lock end up slash down arrow. Switch between reading modes. Oh, jeez. Caps lock cool. end left slash right arrow. Move to previous slash next item. So you can hook a Windows keyboard up to key. the Xbox. Go home. Double tap Windows logo key. Oh, cool. Open guide. And you Two can actually, it has Two some of basic, three. not as much as the Windows 10, but that's cool. You have some basic uh, narrator keyboard commands. That's pretty sweet. Selected. Caps lock end plus slash minus key. Okay, so, so more Decrease pieces. Decrease or increase voice speed. Windows logo key plus X. Oh, dude, you... Bring up the power options page. Windows logo key plus V. Bring up view. Windows logo oh, key what? plus M. Bring up menu. Three of three. You can actually... If, three of three. So can you only adjust the speed of narrator if you have a keyboard connected? Is that what I'm understanding? Like, there's no other, like, controller... Selected. Way to... Selected. Controller shortcut. To start narrator, then maybe want to have the Xbox that. button and then press the, the menu narrator, button. But press them again to stop. Narrator one of five button. I wonder. Hmm. All right, so that's some accessibility. Selected. Uh, ease of access. Selected. Under ease TV of access. And one guy. Selected. Something. Selected. Selected. Display Which and sound. One was Selected. It? Connect and device. Selected. Preferences. Selected. System. Four of eleven. Okay, no, never mind. Four, right, so selected, settings pretty network, much works. That's three of eleven. Uh, that's pretty Setting, cool. Home window. Let's go to our left uh, panel again. We're back Guide at the window. main screen. And selected party tab. Three. Selected Let's look at our friends, tab. friends tab. Find someone button. Friends combo box. Crisco eighty five offline one of okay. eternal noob zero zero eternal offline noob. two hemidal G W J last seen three D ago. Home. Highway Sniper, offline. For Necrobane 1984, offline. Super Looper 2830, okay. USMC 101175, 
Off well, that's cool. Seven of seven. I, I don't really do a whole lot with the friend seven stuff. Seven of seven. Um, I don't really play a lot of multiplayer, so I don't Selected. really... Friends tab, um, two of seven. There may be two some issues seven. if you go in, but everyone's offline, so I really can't connect to anyone right now. But theoretically, the basis of that should work. Selected. Party tab. Party. Three. Selected. Messages Let's tab. See what messages Six I have. messages. New message button. Conversation with Xbox Live. Six unread messages. Okay. One of one. Let's, uh... non More button. What do we got here? As a gold member, get double download what? now button. What is this? Your recent pre-order for Halo 5, Guardians includes a copy of Halo, Spartan Assault, ESRB rating team, oh, really? violence and slash or blood. I didn't know that. Text received November 2nd, 2015. I didn't realize. Oh, okay. That's button. interesting. I never actually played Spartan Assault. I think that's that real-time strategy game. Well, that's cool. I get a free game. The new Xbox One experience, NXOE, is on the horizon. In preparation, we'll soon begin moving all preview consoles over to the NXOE. If you do not wish to move, please opt out of preview from the register. The new Xbox One experience, NXOE, is on the horizon. I like this, In preparation, man. we'll soon begin moving all like preview consoles over to the NXOE. Right well. This is sweet. If you do not wish to move, the new Xbox One experience, NXOE is on the horizon. Xbox Preview Program. Come check out the latest improvements and features in the new Xbox One Experience nice. Preview. Nice. So let's go all the way down. As a gold member, get double the free games each month. With Xbox One backward compatibility, all future games with gold titles oh, for Xbox yeah. 360 are playable on Xbox quick. One. More button. All right, well, let's back out of that. New message button. That's really nice. I like that for reading messages. That's a lot nicer than just being able to visually read it. I mean, the contrast is decent, but it's just, yeah, I like that a lot. Select home window. Very cool. Let's go down. My games and apps. My stuff My section button. My games and button. apps. My games so and apps window. Selected apps. To no, Selected I want games. Game, game item. Banjo Kazooie button. Game item. Banjo to e Now this is, uh, the games area is uh, two down and however many games you have across. You just It just keeps going to the right. Now I wonder if there's a way to tell, on the bottom left it says 39.7%. That's my disk usage. I've already used that a lot. Game item, game item, Beyond Eyes button. Beyond Eyes. Game item, Castle Crashers remastered I gotta button. try that. That's another video game I item, wanna do. Game item, Gears of War, Ultimate Edition button. Game item, Forza Motorsport 6 button. I haven't really gotten to try that yet. Game item, Halo 5, Guardians button. I can't keep up. There's just button. so many good things Game I want to play right Halo, now. Game item, Halo, the Master Chief. Game item, Jetpack Refueled button. Game item, Peggle 2 button. So it's reading all those. Let's head all the way over to the right Find here. more in Oops. the Xbox. Ready to install item, Valiant Hearts. The Great Ready to install item, Pinball FX button. Ready to install item, Prince of Persia button. Okay, so it is recognizing. Ready to install item. Sonic CD button. Ooh, that's a fun one. Ready to install item, the Dear God button. Ready to install item, the Walking Dead, the Complete First Season button. Ready to install item, Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition button. Weird. There should be... I thought, I thought there would be more backwards compatible games that I own, because I own a lot of Xbox Live Arcade games. And when they announced the new dashboard, they said there's 104 both disc and downloadable games that were compatible uh, through backwards compatibility with the new dashboard. Uh, there's like one or two extras here. Um, Re ready, ready to I also install have... Sonic's ready to install. Ready to install oh, item. Oh, there's a whole other ready to area install here. Item. Okay. Ready oh to shit, install there's a lot item. of these. Luminese Live. Ne oh, oh god, that's a video I have to do. Remember when I did? The Luminous video and ripped it a new one, uh, the PC port. I have to do a video for Luminous Live. This version of Luminous is great. Um, that's definitely some. Okay, yeah, this, here we go. Ready to install item, Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes button. Oh, ready man. to install item, and End button. Ready to install item, Pac Man CE, ready to install item, Pac Man CE DX, and ready to install item, Perfect Dark button. Ready to install item. Forza yeah, Motorsport really 6 fast. demo button. Ready to install so item. Doom so 2 button. Ready Doom to install Doom item. 2. Ready to install item. Crazy Taxi button. Oh, Crazy Taxi. And although that one doesn't have the original offspring in it, the soundtrack, that was half of what... Ready to install item. Castle Crashers There's button. The original. Ready to install item. Banjo-Kazooie button. Nice. Game item. 
So I got a few backwards Trouble compatible games. Button. Luminous, though. You know what? We're gonna ready, ready to install item. Luminous Live. Let's see how we. Uh, let's button. see if it reads install. Window. See an Xbox install button. Hell yeah. See an X. My my We're games and apps Luminous, window. Because that game is awesome. I would love to play some more Luminous again. Heck yeah. All right. So. Let's back out of the games list here. Home window. So that was nice. Uh, backwards compatibility, a new feature to the Xbox uh, interface. Um, Rare replay. Recently played section. Select settings window. What? Okay. Home window. Weird. Uh, the interface was all kind of screwy for a second. Um, I'm not like I said. I'm not going to be able to cover everything. The two areas that I Selected. still that I want to check section. out, one of seven. <clears throat> I want to go to the store. One of seven. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Selected community. Selected one guide Where set. Is Selected the store. I think it's Game. all Selected. the way on the right. Se Selected movies and TV. Selected music section. Oh, seven shoot. of seven. Where the hell Se is the store? Selected movies. Selected app section. Um, five. Selected games. Selected one guide. Selected community. Se Selected. Home section, one of seven. On the bottom of the home? Settings, my games and apps. Let's see. My achievements, one guide. One my, guide. my games and app. Achievement, one guide. My game, three, TV, movies and groove music. One drive, Skype, my stuff section button. No. One, move, t threes, okay, my I stuff really section. My games and apps. I don't, I, my stuff I section don't know button. Where the Rare replay, is. three, settings button. Um. Selected, home section, selected. Community section, two, selected, one guide section, three one of seven. Guide, no. Selected, games section, Let's go down. Four, Fallout 4, determine the fate Fallout. of a world destroyed by nuclear God, war. Game is Headline addictive. section, rise of the Tomb Raider. Headlines, browse all games button. Uh, yeah. Gems of War, new releases, browse all games button. So this should, yeah, browse okay, this should disabled. go into the store. Okay. Well, that's one way to do it. Let's see if the store, store speaks. Store window, all games button. Nice. So now we're at the top. We got a whole new interface. So I have not seen the new store interface. Add-ons button. All games button. Add-ons button. Subscriptions button. Search button. Use a code button. I like this. Yes. I mean, it just makes, like I said, especially if you're low vision, look at look at these, um, if I arrow Search down button. these Subscri box, these titles. Transformers. Devastation. Featured section button. Um, they don't really give you the text until you until you arrow to them, or they don't stand out well. Um, so it's just a nice way to sit back and ex more accessibly navigate this. So this is great. Get in the ring in WWE 2K16. Featured section. Transformers. Devastation. Featured section button. So that is a game that I will eventually try to do a video for because I bought it on Steam. Um, surprisingly, you know, it's not going to win any Game of Year awards, but it's basically a Transformers game that I've always wanted. It's actually not bad. It's actually, if you like the original G1 Transformers, it's kind of great. Fallout 4, new releases section yeah, button. Yeah, I want to see if there's a Games for Gold. Deadpool, I see coming if, uh... soon section. Rise of the Tomb Raider, top paid section button. Battle Islands, top free section button. Yeah, so this is almost like a Netflix style interface where you have like left and right, I can arrow through the Smite, games. Top free section button. Top free section. World of Tanks, top free section button. Smite, t Battle Island, Gems of War. What is Smite? Bat Smite, I've heard of top it. Let's free see what section this is. button. Let's see how much it reads. Download button. View Game Hub button. Uh, can I? Smite is the online battleground of the gods. Nice. Players choose from a diverse cast of deities and use their unique powers to triumph over the opposition in 5v5 team matches. Smite is a new take on the MOBA genre. Oh, MOBA. Rather than observing from I above the action, the game's third-person perspective puts players huh. into the thick of combat. Okay. Custom. View game hub bu rate button. Pin to home button. Eh, rate I'm not button. Download View that game right hub now. button. Let's back out. Smite. Top Fallout 4 Digital Deluxe Bundle, top rated section top rated. button. Heck yeah, Fallout. Fallout 4, most played <laughs> most section played, button. definitely. EA Sports Trademark I'm FIFA 16 down. downloadable demo, game okay. demos section, Lego registered trademark Jurassic World trademark demo, game demos section button, layers of fear, game preview, game preview ah, section yes, button. Ah yes, they've also added the game preview, there's like three of these here. Sheltered, game preview, the long dark, 
Game preview. I think I have both of those Game on preview Steam section already. button. Shelter. Layers of fear. Uh, Game preview. Cheap plug, but Game I did an early access button. video. Uh, early access video for Layers of Fear for Steam. It's pretty good. I really want to play the final version of that. I like what that game is kind of doing with horror. Uh, so if you haven't checked, it was one of the October videos that I did. Um, check that out. Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition. Recommended for you section button. Shadow Complex. Recommended for you section Shadow button. Complex, and that one I that's kind of a cool like Metroidvania, Metroid Castlevania esque game that was on the 360. Very cool game. All right, so. Not quite sure how to get to Fox, games for Fox, gold. Right, all games button. But the point is. Add ons button. Subscriptions button. Search button. Use a code button. What's under subscriptions, subscriptions button? What is that? All games button. Add ons button. All games. See all button. What? Manage membership button. Oh. See all. The Walking Dead. The complete first season button. Uh, let's see. I know that's a games for. Numa, Breath Gold. of Life button. The wa see all button. See. Manage member subscribe button. See all button. Uh, Sub manage member so subscribe button. So this area, button. it's not doing as good a job. Like there's a little box and it's reading the buttons, but it's not telling me that this is a oh EA access. So it's not actually it's it's not telling me the context around it. So I'm not exactly sure what it means. Battlefield trademark hardline Dragon Age yeah, trademark. Yeah, so these are all EA games button. if I arrow to the right. So this is all EA Bat access. Subscribe button. See all button. Okay, so there's nothing there Sub that manage I manage membership button. Subscribe. Manage, manage membership, membership button. This is probably my Xbox Live Gold, right? Uh, Xbox Live Gold. Yeah. Subscribe. Bu manage uh, member. See all button. The Walking Dead. The com see all uh, button. What is see all? Is this just renew now button? Oh, download on xbox.com slash games with gold currency quick download on xbox.com slash games with gold comma more free games section button. The Walking Dead, the complete first season, $24.99 free with Numa oh, breath what? of the Walking Dead, the complete first season, $24.99 free with more free games section button. Okay. Download on xbox.com slash games with gold comma more free games section button. Let's see what that is. I think this might be the games for gold or games with gold I was looking for. Oh, this is a trailer. Exciting news for Xbox Live Gold members this month. Starting in November, well, let's all see what future it is. games with gold titles for Xbox 360 will be playable on Xbox One, giving Xbox One owners double the free yeah, games Major to Nelson play video each here. Month. This means you can play multiplayer with your friends no matter which console they're on. To get your free Xbox 360 games with gold, redeem the games from xbox.com forward slash games with gold or on your Xbox 360 console and they will automatically show up in the ready to install Heck section yeah, they did. on your Xbox One. Coming on November 1st for Xbox Live Gold members is Numa Breath of Life. An intricately designed puzzle title that challenges players Ooh. to delve into the mystery of consciousness and discover the power of one's own decisions. That looks and interesting. And on November 16th, Xbox One owners can get Night Squad, an action-filled multiplayer party game where you pick a knight and compete against up to seven other players in a series of arenas and game modes. I was just going to back out of this, but... And Xbox One via backward compatibility, Games with Gold starts off November with Dirt 3. Where I have that for PC, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Intense races across three continents. Rounding out the lineup is Dungeon Siege 3, where you can choose from I one suck of at those kind of overhead games. On an epic adventure through a medieval land. I hope this isn't going to get copyrighted. With Xbox Live Gold, you're part of the world's premier gaming community. Huh. Very cool. Oh no, no. Okay, now you're going to load Internet Explorer. Microsoft Edge window. Oh, Edge. Ha <laughs> ha. I wonder if this works. Um. Get down arrow. HTTP call. Down arrow. Uh, down arrow. Down, down, down arrow. Right arrow. Left yeah, arrow. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say probably not. All right, how do we... Let's back out of... Uh oh. Okay, let's back out. Let's go into the store. Window. store. Okay, Renew here now. we go. Download on Xbox. Right. Store window. So that's all a look at button. the interface. Now, there's one other thing I'm going to try. I don't remember Store if window. I have it all yet set button. up. Home window. Okay. Selected. Oh. Settings right. window. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Home. Home window. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Headline go. section. 
Fallout 4. Selected. Games section. For apps. Selected. Apps section. Hulu Plus. I don't extended think I one have month that free trial. Up. Headline. Netflix. Terrific TV. Fantastic films. <sighs> and original I don't know if I have series. Any of these All games. Up. Store window. Button. Launch button. Yeah. Let's launch. Let's. Because I don't know. I just want to see if narrator is going to speak. I, I'm guessing. I'm. If I had to guess, I would say that your mileage is going to vary. Um, and at least initially, I would suspect that a lot of the third-party apps <clears throat> are probably not going to support Narrator. Um, but as far as Microsoft stuff goes, I'm really impressed. I like being able to navigate the notifications, the messages, the store. Um, good on you, Microsoft. Fantastic start. I mean... Yeah, there could be a couple little things that you might be able to do, but like I said, I'm not complaining really at all. This is great. And we're still hanging at Netflix. I don't know if we're just having trouble connecting, or are you trying to download something? We got the little spinny thing on the bottom. But while that's doing it, um, we're going to wrap up the video here very shortly, but basically one thing... Um, like I said, this is a fantastic start, and I'm actually quite impressed with how well this works. One thing that I would love Microsoft to do in the future, uh, in addition to just kind of making little improvements to the dashboard as far as accessibility. Uh, hello again, this is BGFH. We are back. Um, sorry for the abrupt kind of cutoff for the video uh, there. Turns out, uh, after I finished the recording, I found that it did cut off after or somewhere in the middle of the process as I was trying to fight with and load the Netflix app while running Narrator. So, little tip, um, if you're planning on running Netflix, at least for now, until we get an official announcement, maybe that Netflix has actually um, included accessibility support with Narrator for the Xbox, you might want to have to turn Narrator off before going into that app. What I actually ended up having to do my controller, my system would not respond to anything. <laughs> I couldn't get out of the app. I couldn't do anything. So I actually went out, went over there and um, powered off. Or actually, I, I unplugged the Xbox One for about five seconds and then turned it back, or plugged it in and then turned it back on again, and life was good. Um, but yeah, it really made the Xbox One mad. So... I don't, your, like I said, your mileage may vary with some of these third-party apps, but the Microsoft stuff, like you want to go to the store, you want to look for movies, music, games, um, use the party, the friend system, settings, um, dashboard, all that stuff seems to, at least on a basic run-through, basic, kind of a basic tour, seems to work pretty darn well, so... Like I said, great job, Microsoft. Um, what I was actually in the middle of trying to say when the video cut off was that I love where Microsoft has started. Um, what I would love to see Microsoft do is to, you know, like I said, in addition to just, you know, making some improvements to Narrator and Magnifier, some of the things that I already talked about earlier in the video. But what I'd also love to see over the next few years is have an accessibility API, you know, with basically with kind of like how Apple does or how Microsoft does it on the PC, where a game developer wouldn't necessarily have to create their own accessibility for their game, but if they adhere to some standards and, you know, pull in some plugins from Microsoft's accessibility API for Xbox and Windows 10 for that matter, um, you, you know, I could see where eventually, if let's say you had Narrator on, I, you know, uh, well, I'd take it a, a step simpler. Um, if you had closed captions on system wide, the game would load and automatically see that and say, oh, you must want closed captioning on system, or you have closed captioning on system wide on the dashboard. So we're going to recognize that you want that turned on automatically in the game. You don't even have to go on into settings to turn that on. 
If you're running Narrator, maybe you're maybe you can navigate the main menu. Uh, maybe you can navigate a character like a character select screen in a fighting game, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, whatever. You know, you can arrow through the list, and it'll say, you know, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, uh, Raiden, whatever. Um, if you get more advanced, you know, look at a game like Fallout where you have, you know, the, the, the game wouldn't necessarily talk when you're playing, but when you, maybe when you have, you're interacting with a looting interface or you are looking at your pit boy and you want to, you know, manage your items and go through your inventory and quests and all that kind of stuff, these sort of textual things as long as the game developer, you know, didn't have to do a lot of extra work to make it happen, as long as they could find a way to, you know, maybe add some basic labels so that narrator could recognize, hey, there's text here, let's pay attention to it. Um, not only there's text, but let's say, you know, button mappings, or let's say, you're, again, you're in a fighting game and you hit pause to go look at the move list. Um, you know, it could recognize that, oh, these pictures of the X button, the A button, the right trigger, the left trigger, bumpers, whatever, um, you know, all those could have just certain values. And then, you know, the narrator user could down arrow through the move list and say, oh, okay, uh, I don't know, this move is forward, forward, X, down toward Y, whatever. Um, and that would just be a cool, cool, fantastic thing to shoot for um that would just be really awesome to see uh, i know that i would make use of it in, in, in some cases i would love to be able to like i said in fallout just the amount of time you do end up spending in the pit boy interface crafting interfaces if that stuff could um could speak through like a microsoft api or you know again ps4 steam um, all these other platforms, Nintendo, um, but if Microsoft's, you know, they, they're trying to integrate things between Windows 10 and Xbox and things like that, they would be a good place to start this sort of work. And, you know, just like how Sony earlier this year started the whole accessibility thing and said, hey, we're going to put some accessibility features into our Vita and PlayStation 4, it didn't take long, thankfully, for Microsoft to go, yeah, you know what, let's do that for our fall update, and well, we'll catch up too, and we'll uh, include some pretty good accessibility in our stuff too. Um, so, you know, like I said, in the next few years, like if they could get to that point, and not just, in, not, include, not just include the features, but I would say highly encourage games to include, you know, to have these features, you know, if nothing else, for main, you know, for general menus like your main menu, your pause menu, that would be a huge start to be able to, you know, load your game, save your game, adjust settings, um, you know, and then eventually getting into the finer detail where, you know, not necessarily while you're playing, like if you're playing an action game or something, but if you were, again, if you were navigating an interface, uh, inventory, a map, you know, or whatever you're doing. Um, that could be a long-term thing, but even just getting some general menus and stuff, it's it just, I, I, I get excited about the, the potential, just seeing how well, I never thought I would see the day that consoles would really actually s pretty seriously implement a good layer, a good level of accessibility. And it happened f fairly sooner than I thought it would, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, we didn't get it last generation, but... Uh, fairly early on in this generation, we're already starting to get that. So, you know, if this is a baseline for these guys to start working from, and hopefully it'll only get better, yeah, I like that a lot. Um, so that's just some things I would, you know, kind of like to see in the future. Um, you know, Sony started it. Microsoft sounds like they've done a nice uh, start to it. Nintendo, you got your NX coming up, whatever it's going to be called, your home console, portable console, hybrid, whatever it's going to end up being. Um, you saw the other guys do it. You guys always talk about you want to have gaming for everybody. You want to be inclusive. You want to be family friendly. It's on you guys. You are the third pillar here. And I would love to see Nintendo 
embrace some accessibility too because let me tell you trying to navigate some of that stuff on the gamepad can be a little tricky because it's kind of small and I would really really appreciate having um, or even the, the 3DS for that matter <laughs> I would love to see some sort of speech implemented into Nintendo's platforms so uh, follow follow Microsoft and Sony's lead uh, Nintendo uh, you guys can do it too I really hope you do so again, sorry that the video sort of abruptly broke off there, but um, yeah, that has been a look at the Microsoft Xbox One, the new Xbox experience, or a new, N, what do they call it, N-X-O-E, new Xbox One experience. Um, but yeah, uh, that is the just kind of an overview of using it with Narrator and a little peek at magnification and a little glimpse at high contrast. So for low vision gamers, and like I said, I don't want to forget, you know, remember there is button mapping and closed captioning for hearing impaired and um, physically impaired gamers as well. So they definitely included some stuff there as well. Um, but uh, you know, we're just mainly concentrating on the low vision and blindness stuff on this uh, video here. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And if you are interested in having an accessible home gaming console, especially now that we're getting all these holiday sales and stuff, and who knows what's going to happen around Black Friday, I, you know, um, Microsoft has a lot of different bundle deals, and they're actually not badly priced either. either. So you know just take a look around and uh you know if you if there's a big game coming out there's probably a bundle for it this year and if you are looking for a an accessible more accessible anyway ha uh gaming console now would be a good time to seriously pick up one of these you know either PS4 or Xbox 1 especially and um and uh buy one, start playing with it, start giving feedback, um, you know, not just negative, but just positive and negative feedback, you know, give them some meaningful suggestions, and um, yeah, accessibility, hopefully accessibility will only get better from here, so good job Sony, good job Microsoft, glad to see this stuff is uh, starting out, and until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.